Hi, I'm Ian Newham, Training Manager for UASA. Welcome to our online webinar about leisure batteries. We will give you information on the correct processes for choosing and looking after your battery. These tips will make sure you get the maximum performance and service life with minimal issues. During the session, we're going to cover the following. Swift equipment introduction, equipment power requirements, how to choose the correct battery, and in-service care and maintenance. If you're seeking adventures in more secluded places with your Swift caravan or motorhome, then a good quality and well-maintained leisure battery is essential to making the most of your time off-grid. While big items like the heating, oven and fridge will work off gas, they may require a small amount of electrical power to drive fans or pumps. Your leisure battery is also essential for onboard equipment such as your Swift command and control panel, the LED lighting, the radio, aerials and your TV if it is 12 volt compatible. Additionally, in today's multi-connected world, the leisure battery also powers USB points for charging devices. You may also need your leisure battery to power any additional kit you have bought like a motor mover. To help recharge the leisure battery, all Swift vehicles are fitted with or have the option to install a solar panel, helping your off-grid adventure last longer. UASA has been a partner of Swift for many years. Our batteries are fitted to most homes on the Swift production line and we are the recommended choice for all Swift leisure vehicles. Not many people know that one of the most important steps in making sure your leisure battery lasts for the longest time possible is to choose the correct technology and specification that you need. It sounds obvious, doesn't it? But a lot of people skip this step and simply buy a battery based on price. You should always use one based on your caravan and how you use it. Remember, Swift models feature a high level of electrical equipment as standard. All UASA active leisure batteries are recommended by Swift and feature a watt hour rating and guidance on usage type on their label. To select the best battery option for you, many factors must be considered. The first is the available installation space. The maximum physical size of the battery will be dictated by the tray size. Next, you need to consider if you camp on or off grid. If you use an electric hookup, there is little or no load on the battery. If, however, you camp off grid for some or all of the time, the more electrical consumers that are in use, the greater the demand on the battery and the faster it discharges. Therefore, when buying one, you should work out the capacity required based on the appliances on board, their hourly power consumption and how long each appliance is likely to be used. For example, a TV rated at 80 watts on for two hours takes 160 watt hours. Five lamps rated at 20 watts on for four hours takes 320 watt hours. A water pump rated at 50 watts for half an hour takes 25 watt hours. And charging a mobile device rated at 25 watts for three hours takes 75 watt hours. This gives a total of 580 watt hours. It is then advisable to factor in a 20% safety margin as the figures used for the capacity calculation can go up or down. In our example, the requirement is therefore 696 watt hours. The required battery capacity will also be dramatically affected if using a motor mover or auto leveling system, as these consume large amounts of power over a very short time. As a leisure battery has a finite number of available cycles, each time it is used and recharged, its service life reduces through natural wear and tear. Therefore, users who take frequent breaks will require a battery with more available cycles than a user that goes away infrequently. UASA Active Leisure Batteries feature a cyclic rating, which indicates how many cycles the battery will do. UASA's Active Leisure Battery range is tiered, with different levels of performance and cycle life available. All batteries are maintenance free and do not require topping up when in normal service. Conventional type batteries offer standard performance levels and EFB and AGM batteries are upgrade options as they provide greater endurance 
more available cycles and faster charging. If you use a motor mover or regularly go off grid, we recommend an AGM battery. All US Active Leisure batteries are also part of the NCC Verified Battery Scheme. They are categorised as A, B or C, depending on the intended purpose, and carry clear NCC labelling to help you choose. NCC verification also provides you with confidence that a battery is fit for purpose and will perform as advertised. It means you can easily identify which batteries on the market are quoting accurate, verified specifications and which are not. Now that I've explained how to choose the correct laser battery, let's look at how to take care of it. There is a common misconception that these are fit and forget products. However, this is not the case. Usually, they are in use during the warmer summer months and are left in storage throughout the winter. When a battery is in regular use or long-term storage, it must be checked and charged as required to prevent service or storage-related damage. If not maintained, its condition will permanently deteriorate until it can no longer supply the required performance. Batteries that have been in service for some time will also have experienced some natural deterioration. This means that when compared to a new battery, more frequent recharging will be required. Most ledger battery failures are caused by lack of care and maintenance and not because they are faulty. Two common scenarios that can cause permanent damage to a battery by allowing its voltage to fall too low are not maintaining it when in storage and failure to check and charge before and after each use. Many newer caravans and motorhomes have an intelligent charging facility when in use. Users should consult their handbooks for more details. UASA advises a suitable smart charger compatible with the battery's technology is connected when the vehicle is not used for extended periods of time. If removing the battery, fully charge it prior to storage. Check its voltage is more than 12.4 volts with a voltmeter every month and charge if required. Recharge every three months regardless of the voltage to refresh and mix the electrolyte solution. If leaving the battery on the vehicle, connect a smart charger featuring a pulse mode. This will maintain the battery at 95 to 100% capacity by monitoring voltage and applying a pulse charge when required. With AGM batteries, always ensure you use a charger compatible with this type of technology. Failure to do so will result in permanent damage and premature failure. Well, that's it from me. Hopefully, I have given you some good information and advice. If you want to find out more, visit the UASA website, Leisure Section.